Hello and welcome to DVM 360 TV. I'm Erica Jacarico and here is our weekly news report. Just in case you missed it, or maybe you need a refresher, here are some of the top stories that came out of this year's Fetch conference in San Diego. Fetch speaker, Dr. Kendall Taney, shared these seven dentistry tips for general practitioners. Keep owners involved throughout the process. Provide a treatment plan with a range of cost. Let pet owners know moaning, crying, and whining are normal post-anesthesia side effects. Give your clients a call that evening and the next day to show them that you care. Make sure clients know what constitutes an emergency and who to call if they have questions. Always take post-extraction radiographs, always. And finally, Dr. Taney's number one tip, double check and then triple check that you have a phone number where the client can always be reached. And does your client have a warrior cat? At this year's Fetch Conference in San Diego, John Sirabasi shared four major types of feline aggression and a few tips to manage them. Redirected aggression occurs when a cat can't get at a stimulus, so it goes after another family member, said Dr. Sirabasi. Try separating the cat from its target and reduce the new stimulus. For example, you could put up blinds to block the view of animals outside. Next is territorial aggression. When two people join households and bring their separate cats together in a new environment, this can cause territorial aggression. For this type of aggression, try the house of plenty approach. Provide enough food, water, litter boxes, and other resources for every cat. And fear-related aggression typically stops when the fearful stimulus disappears. And lastly, play-related aggression can occur when a new kitten wants to play with an older cat that isn't interested. Cat owners should provide plenty of other outlets for the playful cat's energy. And are you feeling stressed? Fetch speaker Dr. Hildel Dogen who is known for promoting more thought on trauma in the veterinary community, recommended taking these two stress tests. The first one, the Social Readjustment Rating Scale. It looks at how many potentially stressful events have happened to you in the past 12 months. The second test, how vulnerable are you to stress? Helps you judge what support and habits you have today to manage stress. And finally, According to seasoned supervisor and fetch speaker, Ori Sitzlowitz, you should do the following three things on your first day as manager. Number one, help other people accomplish tasks well by remembering that your new job is less about your to-do list and more about facilitating others' to-do list. Number two, establish an open door policy and regular check-ins. And number three, model good behavior. That's all the news we have for today. For more conference coverage, you can visit dvm360.com. For DVM 360 TV, I'm Erica Chikarico, and happy holidays, everyone.